sometimes when we read scripture, we read scripture in just little bits and pieces and don't look at the full context. And sometimes we miss some pretty powerful messages. And many people have this particular passage of scripture on their walls, uh, someplace in their house, uh, talking about renewing their strength and mounting up like eagles. But you know, if you, start, if you start out with Isaiah 40, verse 27, there's a totally different message available for you. That's not to say that the last part of the message is not important. We'll look at both parts today. But if you look at the first part of Isaiah 40, verse 27, you find a very interesting answer to a very interesting point. What is your God like? What is your God like? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not become weary <laughs> or tired. Now, just stop there for a second. Have you not heard? Do you not know? Everlasting God, a God that was, is, and always will be. There are very few things that are that stable. Recently, I watched the news program and one minute a child was here and the next minute it was gone. One minute a man was here and the next minute he was gone. You see, it can happen in about of an eye. Our whole world can change, especially if we're related or know those persons. Have you not heard? Do you not know? the everlasting God, the creator. Now, what does that mean, the creator? Well, we go back to the book of Genesis. In the beginning, he spoke into existence the water, the sky, the land masses, the mountains, the valleys, the plains, the rivers, the streams, the oceans, the creator of all of the heavens and the earth. Now listen to what we know about this creator that we have heard and we know about him, the everlasting God. He does not become weary or tired. <laughs> there have been times when I've been so tired that there was nothing more I could do. I remember one time we were water skiing. We'd gone around the lake three or four times, and it was a huge lake. I was skiing on one ski, and I was doing all the tricks that I knew, and I was exhausted. As a matter of fact, I was so exhausted that when I let go of the rope, I didn't have enough strength to pull myself back into the boat. I just had to take that water ski and use it as a flotation device and paddle back to shore kind of crawl up on the beach and just get my breath and kind of recover my strength. But our God, my God, your God, does not become weary or tired. We never have to worry about calling on him when he says, don't bother me now, I'm too tired. I need a night's rest. The creator of the heavens and earth, the everlasting God, does not become weary or tired. Now listen next. His understanding is inscrutable. Now, what does inscrutable mean? It means it's beyond our imagination. He understands more than we could ever begin to understand. He knows why electricity runs through wire. He knows why the seas rise and fall with the tides. He understands why we become depressed, why we're happy. He understands all about us. Yes, the creator, the everlasting God, the one who doesn't grow weary or tired, has understanding that is beyond our wildest imagination. He knows our every sorrow. He knows our every joy. He knows our every thought, even when it's not spoken. He gives strength to the weary. 
and to him who lacks might, he increases power. What a wonderful God. The God, the everlasting, the creator, the one who has no time of weariness or tiredness, the one who can give us strength when we're tired. Your youths may grow weary and tired and vigorous men may stumble badly, yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired and they will walk and not be weary. Isn't that good? Not become weary. <laughs> what a day that will be when we're with our creator, the everlasting God. Have you not heard? Do you not know? He doesn't get weary and he doesn't get tired and he understands everything. What's your God like? That's my God. That's the God of Isaiah. That's the one who can make us have new strength and mount up like eagles on wings and run and not get tired. It's an incredible God. That's your thought for the day. God bless you.